What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to part three of our video series, taking an indie game from zero to $1,000 per month. Okay, so in the last video, I spoke about my monetization strategy and what I'll be doing there. And in this video, the focus is on ASO and driving initial traffic to the game. So before I show you the process I use to find keywords for the App Store uh, to rank the game, I just want to say that ASO is not really an exact science. I mean, there's so many theories out there um, saying that this is the way you should do it, or there's so many gurus out there promising you, um, guaranteeing you results. But the simple matter of fact is that no one besides Apple really knows the key to their algorithm, okay? So all I can do is talk about my experience and what's worked for me and also some common sense. So if you look at Apple, Apple is a business and of course um, they would want only their best um, games and apps showing at the top of the search results. Okay, so this means games with high retention rates, um, very, very good quality, good conversion rates, uh, etc. So what I have found personally is that the thing you really want to focus on the most is that conversion rate from impressions to installs. And I found um, that correlates with how well your game moves up in the charts. Okay, so um, personally for me, I found when I hit a conversion rate over 4%, that's when um, it starts to, I start to see good results with ASO. So that's my personal experience. Obviously take it with a grain of salt, find out what works for you. I can just share my experience. Okay, so let's jump into my computer and let's find some keywords for Merge Dolls. Okay, so the two free tools I use to look for keywords are Sensor Tower and App Annie. And both of them have a free version as well as a paid version. However, I just like to use the free one. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is I go to Sensor Tower. Under the under App Store Optimization tab, under Keyword Rankings, you will see an Add New Keyword button. Okay, and what this does is you type in a keyword and it will actually bring up the traffic um, volume for that keyword as well as the difficulty if you were to try and rank for it. Okay, so our game Merge Dolls is a match three merge type uh, game. So the first keyword I'll type in is merge. Um, remember that you want to keep your keywords relevant. Um, so relevant to your, your game or your app, that way it helps improve that conversion rate that I was talking about from impressions to installs. And that'll really help, um, help your app go up in, in the rankings. Okay. So let's see what merge dolls bring, uh, merge brings. Okay. So here you can see the traffic scores 5.8, uh, which is really good. Um, however, the the iPhone difficulty is a 9.2. So this will mean it'll be really hard to uh, rank for that particular keyword. Um, also, there are 5,488 apps ranking for that keyword. So I can guarantee you that um, everyone in the top eight, these are, you can see they're all big publishers and I can almost guarantee you that they're running uh, big user acquisition campaigns and spending a ton of money on on these games. So it would be extremely hard to rank for the search uh, for the keyword merge. However, what I like to do is I look at the top three results and okay, let's take Merge Mansion, for example. So we'll go into App Annie and we will look for Merge Mansion. Okay, let's look for the iOS version. Here we go. And the great thing about App Annie is it has a section where it will actually tell you and show you what uh, keywords this game is ranking for. Okay, so if we go down here under ASO keywords, it'll bring up all the top results, what this game is ranking for. And 
what's great is when I get stuck and I can't think of keywords, um, I'll just come here and it gives you a lot of suggestions uh, where you can go back into Sensor Tower and actually test the, um, the traffic score and the difficulty score of each one of these. So what I look for first is um, I look for uncommon sort of words um, that, are, that you wouldn't necessarily think of. Um, this way um, you can test if it has a decent enough uh, search volume and by being an uncommon word um, maybe not a lot of developers are using or trying to rank for this keyword. So if you look here, mergical is quite an unusual word. So we'll take that word mergical, go back to center tower. Okay. Add a new keyword. Mergical. Okay. And we'll see what results it brings. Okay. So you can see the traffic score is a 2.8, which is not bad. Okay, um, however, the difficulty score is 8.7, which is really high again. But here's the difference. If you look at how many iPhone apps are trying to rank for this keyword, there's only 41. So although the difficulty score is quite high, you might actually have a decent chance of ranking in the top eight for this keyword, just simply because there are not a lot of apps that are going after this keyword. So if you go, for it aggressively enough, um, you have a good chance of ranking for it. So what I'll do is, if I find something like that, I will just write it down on a notepad. Mergical, I'll write down the traffic score, the difficulty score, and how many apps are trying to rank for it, 41. Okay, so that's pretty much the process I rinse and repeat. So, I mean, it, it does take a bit of time. It is quite time consuming. However, you can find a lot of gems like that. And what I want you guys to know is that ASO is, um, it's, a long, it's a long game plan. So you have to be patient and try new keywords. And every time you update your app, you gotta swap them out. So basically that's all I do um, when I'm looking for keywords. And uh, yeah, I hope that helps you guys. Um, that it's a very simple process. You guys might be shocked at it, but yeah, that's pretty much all I do on that front. So that was just a short introduction on the process of how I find keywords for the App Store. Okay, like I said, keywords is just one part of it. Um, there are many parts in, in the ASO wheel and they all need to come together for you to see any results. Um, in rankings. Okay, there's still the marketing material, your app, your app icon, your screenshots, all of these help uh, with the conversion rate from impressions to installs, which is the main factor in Apple uh, promoting or demoting your, your game. So yeah, just bear that in mind. Um, ASO is not a one, one trick, um, one trick thing. So yeah, um, a lot of these things I'll show you in in future videos um, with regards to the screenshots, the marketing materials, and all of that good stuff. Uh, another thing that I just want to talk about is um, some people ask me about black hat ASO tactics, and my answer is always a resounding hell no. Okay, so it might be tempting to buy reviews and things like that, but in the long term, if you if you want to be in this for the long term, you will always uh, lose out, and that's because Apple. I mean, they're pretty smart, and their algorithms always changing to try and catch fraudulent activities. And if you want to gamble and build your business on a weak foundation, where I mean, they could penalize you and um, deactivate your account, and you could lose everything. So. I mean, for me, that's, I would never ever jeopardize my business like that. Um, building your business on a solid foundation, obviously it takes a lot longer and, um, but I mean, it's, it's worth it in the long term um, that you have a, a solid uh, business and that uh, you can sleep well at night knowing that. So yeah, that's just my two cents on that. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button. And subscribe if you want to see uh, more videos in this series. Um, make sure you don't miss those. Um, the game is really close to being released. So 
yeah, the next videos will be really exciting. And once it's live, we can actually go and check the numbers and see if we're on track of hitting that goal of $1,000 per month. So if you guys enjoyed it, I will see you on the next one. Stay safe and peace out.